If you're a sucker for forbidden love stories, you're going to love Five Feet Apart. This tragic love story is sure to hit you right in the feels. So bring some tissues with you to the theater. Watch until the end to find out which Five Feet Apart fact has got fans shook. Five Feet Apart, are you in? The Disney Connection The stars of Five Feet Apart have something huge in common. Haley Lou Richardson, Cole Sprouse, and Moses Arias have all starred on the Disney Channel. There's no doubt that the Disney Channel is amazing at finding talented actors, so where have you seen all of these stars before? Cole Sprouse is obviously one of the two stars of The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Cole played Cody while his twin brother Dylan played Zack. Cole and Dylan also got a spin-off series called The Sweet Life on Deck. Haley Lou didn't have her own show, but she she did guest star on Shake It Up in 2013. She played the role of a dancer. Moses Arias plays Poe in Five Feet Apart. He has guest starred on Disney Channel several times. He was on three episodes of Wizards of Waverly Place. He voiced a character on Phineas and Ferb and was also in Hannah Montana the movie. But the Disney connection goes even deeper. Moses made a guest appearance on Sweet Life way back in 2006. That means that he shared a screen with Cole before this movie. Guess who else made an appearance in Sweet Life, the director, Justin Baldoni. It's pretty cool that all these former Disney actors have grown up to do more serious films. From documentary shorts to chick flicks. Five Feet Apart is totally amazing. It's likely to go down as one of the best tragic romances in history, and we just know that Justin Baldoni did an epic job directing. He probably has tons of directing experience, right? Well, not exactly. This is Justin's first time directing a feature-length fiction movie. Justin's directing experience is pretty much limited to documentaries. Most of the documentaries are short films. He did direct one miniseries with eight episodes. This series was a continuation of some other short documentaries he made. They're called My Last Days. They're all about people who live with terminal illness. He interviews people with different illnesses that know that they won't live long. He does a great job of revealing the person behind the illness. He shows how courageous these people are and how they live their short lives to the fullest. So we can see why he's so passionate about Five Feet Apart. He'll be able to reach a whole new audience by advocating a similar message. We're excited to see him enter a whole new territory with this love story. Justin has another documentary coming out soon called Last laughing at my nightmare. The best critic. We just love Cole Sprouse. The Riverdale star has stolen our hearts ever since he was a kid on Disney Channel. We aren't the only ones who love him. Cole is dating Lily Reinhart. She plays Betty Cooper on Riverdale, the love interest of his character Jughead. They're seriously relationship goals. And Lily is Cole's biggest fan and best critic. She posted photos on Instagram from the premiere of Five Feet Apart, and she had the nicest things to say. She said she is in awe of Cole and Haley Lou for their work in the film. She said the last few days have been challenging for all of them. She was referring to the sudden loss of Luke Perry, and then she goes on to say how this new movie is so touching. She said that it made her grateful to be with the people she loves. She was super moved by the film and can't wait for the rest of the world to see it. Wow, if that's not the best review ever, we don't know what is. We think it's so great that Lily is supportive of her boyfriend's projects. We just know how proud she is of him. We hope that the release of this movie brought some joy to the Riverdale actors after the loss of their beloved co-star. There's a novel. After the success of The Fault in Our Stars, many people have wondered if this new movie is based on a book. It's just life. It'll be over before you know it. These young adult romance novels are all the rage. Just look at Netflix's success turning books into teen chick flicks. Well, Five Feet Apart is not based on a book, but there is a novel version. Rachel Lippincott is a brand new author. She was chosen by the publisher Simon & Schuster to turn the screenplay into a novel. The screenplay was written by Nikki Daughtry and Tobias Iconis. It was written first and production on the movie had already started. But since the YA genre is doing so well, the publisher knew it had the potential to become a best-selling novel. And just check out the gorgeous cover. Those flowers look like lungs to represent cystic fibrosis. What an awesome book cover. The book dropped in November of 2018, so if you'd rather read the book before seeing the movie, head to your local library or bookstore. Simon & Schuster does a great job at picking authors. We just know that this book will be as epic as the movie. Have you read the book? If so, let us know what differences there are between the novel and the film in the comments section below. The Big What Ifs 
Some people have pointed out that five feet apart sounds a lot like the fault in our stars, but there are some really major differences. Cystic fibrosis patients have to be really isolated because they're in danger of getting an infection, and a regular infection that may make someone miss school for a day could kill a cystic fibrosis patient. It's an awful way to live, and two people with cystic fibrosis have to stay at least six feet apart at all times. In the trailer, the characters are being constantly reminded of this. Six feet at all times, you both know the rules. But when Will convinces Stella that life is worth a little risk, they start standing five feet apart. The movie wanted to ask some big questions. What if the person you love the most in the world was someone you couldn't touch? What if the most intimate relationship you have can't involve any physical intimacy? And can love transcend the need for a human touch? We're crying just thinking about it. These are some pretty huge questions to answer in a movie. But obviously Justin and the cast are up for the challenge. One thing is for sure, this will be a totally different movie than we've ever seen. The soundtrack is lit. You might have noticed some awesome music in the trailer. It left us wondering about the soundtrack. The soundtrack was released on the same day as the movie, and it is totally lit. There's Remind Me to Forget by Kygo, which features Miguel. Just the name of the song makes us want to cry. Andy Grammer also has a song on the soundtrack. It's called Don't Give Up On Me. You can stream those two songs separately. Most of the soundtrack is downright amazing. It was composed by Brian Tyler and Breton Vivian. Brian wrote the score for Avengers Age of Ultron, and Crazy Rich Asians. Breton worked on Crazy Rich Asians with Brian. He also wrote the score for the Netflix series Galavant. You know that these two working together are going to make some awesome music. There's also a bonus track by Kate Davis. It's called My Baby Just Cares For Me. It's so sweet and so romantic. Fans have been wondering where the idea for Five Feet Apart came from. Stay tuned to find out. From actor to director. We've already talked about Justin Baldoni's experience as a director, but you're probably thinking that this guy looks really familiar. That's because he's also a famous actor. Justin stars on the CW's hit show, Jane the Virgin. He plays Raphael, who is Jane's boss, and also the father of her baby. Calm down, all right? There is plenty of money. He later becomes Jane's love interest. Justin's acting experience goes way back. He got his start on the soap opera The Young and the Restless back in 2004. He also had a role in the short-lived series Everwood. In 2010, he went back to the soap opera world. He had a recurring role on The Bold and the Beautiful. He's had several small roles on lots of television shows. He also starred in a short film that he directed called 73 Questions with Logan Rawlings. He even shared the screen with Ashley Tisdale. Yep, he worked with a former co-star of Cole Sprouse. Justin's been in a few indie movies too, but he got on everyone's radar with the success of Jane the Virgin. He can act and direct. We're so excited to see him transition into the role of director for this film. It makes grown men cry. If you're like us, you probably teared up just watching the trailer. And if you're really like us, you probably kept crying throughout the whole movie. We know this movie is going to be sad. The two main characters have a terminal illness. But how sad is this movie? Well, according to Cole Sprouse, it's a real tearjerker. He posted a photo of the stars with their director from the premiere on Instagram. In his post, he revealed that his brother, Dylan, and their dad both cried. Cole said seeing these two men cry in a room full of women in business professionals is something he'll smile about for the rest of his life. It sounds like he teased his family for crying, but did Cole cry at the premiere? Well, according to his Instagram, he didn't. He says anyone that saw him crying is being deceived. Uh-huh, sure, Cole. Just admit it, it's okay to cry, especially when viewing such a sweet and tragic love story. Move over, Romeo and Juliet. It's time for Stella Grant and Will Newman to be the new icons of tragic love stories. I don't wanna hurt you. We'll never know for sure if Cole cried, but if fans have learned anything from his revelation, it's to bring a box of tissues with them to the movie theater. Not everyone's a fan. People everywhere are looking forward to the release of this movie. It's going to be a girls' night classic for years to come, but not everyone is thrilled about the film. In fact, the biggest critics come from people who really live with cystic fibrosis, and they have some valid concerns. First of all, being six feet apart from another patient is the bare minimum. That's only if they absolutely have to be in the same room. In real life, they shouldn't spend time in the same room at all. It's just too dangerous. Director Justin 
Christian Baldoni admits that they had to take some creative liberties to make this story, but he did work closely with real-life patients to make it as accurate as possible. Also, a lot of people who live with cystic fibrosis are upset at the whole premise of the movie. They don't want their disease romanticized. We can understand that. It's a really serious disease. They don't want people to think it's some sweet romantic life. On the flip side, other patients say that any exposure is good exposure. Many people have probably never heard of cystic fibrosis before this film. More awareness of a disease means more money for research, and that's always a good thing. True story. Despite what the critics may say, the cast and crew of Five Feet Apart did their homework. They worked closely with an organization called Claire's Place Foundation. It's a great organization. They provide all sorts of assistance to families living with cystic fibrosis. It can be financial help or emotional support. Claire's Place was founded by Claire Wineland, and she is the inspiration behind Stella in the movie. Claire was awesome. She was a YouTube star who made videos with real talk about living with cystic fibrosis. Many of you are probably wondering what is with the oxygen. She spent a huge chunk of her life in hospitals. She played games with the nurses and was a fan of glitter bombs. Believe it or not, but she once snuck out of the hospital to attend a political rally. When she was just 13 years old, she was in a coma for over two weeks. After that, she set up her foundation. Sadly, Claire passed away in September of 2018, just one week after a lung transplant. She was just 21. Claire inspired and helped a lot of people in her life and she even helped out with Five Feet Apart. Her legacy will live on forever. So are you excited to see Five Feet Apart? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to The Things for more videos like this one. We'll see you next time.